Hey, what's up, everybody? We are here, War Season, I believe, number 18. And you can see here, we are in the right-hand corner, this uh, white-colored alliance. And we are, we are caved in, cornered in by this alliance right here, this Petite Alliance. And they are quite difficult adversaries here. They're 41 of 41 members. So we are actually uh, trying to chip our way out of here and... This is this is it, guys. This is the big war of this season. Uh, Fifty-seven to sixty-four thousand skulls standings right now. We're currently, you know, both tied at five fiefdoms for first place. They have a tremendous amount of skull bonuses there. So we are gonna pull out all the stops here, and this is gonna be the very first time that I personally have used these uh, these hero. What is it? I don't even know what it's called. These champions, I guess. The champion boost. So we've had it activated like once or twice. And it wasn't on me. But uh, I am dedicating probably a good two hours right now to just nonstop raiding. And I will be going on Twitch. So as this video is uploading, we're going to take a look if the championship. So we've done one raid so far. One raid, 838 skulls. We're going to go ahead and activate the champion. I've been told that this does not go back and give you additional skulls on that old rate. So we're going to find out right now. So again, our skulls was 838. We're going to activate the champion, which means we're going to get an additional 5% skull bonus within each, within, per each battle within this war. So we'll activate that. You can see my skulls did not go up at all. So it's still 838. So if you are going to use the champion feature, make sure that you use it in the beginning of the war. So it does not, uh, you know, what is that word? What is that word? It doesn't reactive. No, it's not the right word. It's not, uh, I can't remember. Um, it doesn't go back and count your old ones. So again, we can make another person champion. And so right there, now all champions will earn an additional 6% bonus. So that means I sh should be earning uh, a little bit more as well as this person. So let's go ahead and take a look at what my, my bonus is right now. Uh, my bonus is at 7%. So you can see we got a 5% bonus. We're going to go ahead and buff up my other account as well, just so we can do nonstop like ratings here. And if I'm reading this correctly, you can see it costs a lot more now. It costs 272000 more gold. These all do change depending on how strong your alliance is and everything. So if I'm reading this right, that means all champions will earn an additional 6%. So that means my... Uh, my champion, my account, will get 13% additional raid skulls. So let's see if this works. So you can see JDub has done a lot. We'll check on here. No, it does not work like that. So it only makes it go up by 1%, which is ugh, not really worth it. Um, let's see what the next one is over here. So let's just, we're not going to do this one. And each per additional champions 7% battles so it only goes up 1% as you keep activating more of these champion guys so let's go ahead and do a raid here and then I'm going to head over to Twitch so you can come and join join Twitch the uh, the things in the left over here the right I don't know where it is it's it's somewhere over there uh, Steven 9777 Royal Revolt uh, you can't miss it probably going to be the only person playing Royal Revolt on Twitch right there so you can come chat with us see us live on Twitch and when you attack, oh, you got this cool little symbol right here. You got this champion symbol on your guy. So again, I do not recommend using these guys. I recommend using the boost. But when you're in a really, really tough clutch battle like this, this right here is do or die. If we do not win this war, um, we cannot break out of this little containment. They've trapped us in. So if we do not win this war, we have nowhere to go. We can't win any more fiefdoms. We can't win any other battles. Uh, we are stuck there. So we have to win this war. And pretty much, you know, even though there's a loser's skull bonus, once you lose one war, uh, a lot of people in the alliances kind of give give up. They kind of get that, oh, we lost or we're done. It's over. Like, they get discouraged. So you definitely want to keep morale up in your alliance. That's something that I've found as being a leader, uh, you know, of, of an alliance for, you know, 18, 19 wars now. You definitely want to make sure that morale is always high in your alliance. When people are, you know, are, are doing good and raiding and then chatting in the in the chat box there, uh, it just gives off a better feeling. You got better spirits. You got more energy in your, uh, in your alliance. So morale is a very, very important factor of this. So by themselves the champion features are not necessarily good 
Uh, you definitely would rather have boost over the champions because the boost work for everybody. You can see that cost a little bit over 1 million alliance gold to activate two champions. And quite frankly, I, I mean, unless you're doing a ton of grinding, it's not really worth it. Um, again, activate the boost instead. So we've already currently got pretty much every boost on imaginable that we can have right now. We have cannons on, as you can see. We have paladins on. We have knights. We have archers. We've got barricades. We've got, like, everything going. So that's why the last resort we have is to go ahead and activate these champions and try and push through and just blow through this alliance, this petite alliance here. Who They're not petite, man. They got 41 freaking members of 41. They, they're, a, they're a stacked alliance right here. We're at, I think, 36, 37. So there we go, 834. We'll go take a look at our bonus goals, which should have jumped up pretty significantly. And I am going to head off to Twitch after this. So I will see you guys on Twitch. Peace. Check out the stats.